What is up? I'm Wine Turtle, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We are playing PTCGO, but this is kind of like post commentary. So, this is some gameplay of two decks that absolutely own my Reshizard deck. Uh, some of them I feel like are specifically designed to defeat Reshizard, and some of them I just feel like are super flexible and really good. So, this one, for example, Latios GX uh, with Tag Team, Tag Purge, essentially 120, and you cannot be dealt damage by tag teams next turn and this is obviously just an anti-tag team deck but it just its numbers are perfect against Reshizard and I kind of have a not I a not ideal start with no Volcanian however I do tech in a ultra ball to work around it but it really takes everything out of my greens exploration and it kind of all it allows me to do is set up for turn two so basically what I have in there is that Ultra Ball and as well as this switch. So this switch is almost entirely in the deck just for this reason where it's kind of in this awkward situation where I need to Ultra Ball for the Volcanian because all I have is Cherish Balls and while I do have run 4 Volcanian like there will be times when I don't have it so that's why I have this Ultra Ball. But yeah so not an ideal start and kind of whiff on this Poke Gear. And not only that, I have to use a fire crystal just to get back the energy, but now I can have that fire starter start. But uh, back to this matchup. So it's really an idea, and I, our opponent did not play very aggressively, where he's kind of using Jirachi to set up. But, you know, I think the fastest I could take out Jirachi is turn two, but with Volcanian in the active, I have no way of. I would need to basically have another welder to get. To retreat Volcanian and set up for Flare Strike, and so because of that, you know, with Volcanian active, it's a good chance that he'll have at least a couple of turns to use Jirachi just to continue to ramp up his bench. And the bench is that Latios and now Mewtwo, which makes things even worse. So Mewtwo can also use the Tag Purge with his ability, but hey, you know what? Uh, let me maybe I have an idea. Maybe I have some stuff to help fight this. And that is the, I'm going to use the greens again. So even if I did have the welder, I might have went with this move where I use greens to actually pull the power plant. So the power plant can strip Mewtwo, Mew Mewtwo of its ability, but um, actually, so that's the game plan right now. <laughs> the butt is a little foreshadowing, I suppose. Uh, I was considering grabbing some of my other stadiums, but then it occurs to me, all right, I need to keep the power plant in play. And all right, let me grab that welder. I'm sure I'm gonna use that at some point. Yeah, so now it's left with a very awkward situation where I can't knock this thing out, but I can play defensive against that Mew Mewtwo. Might as well use the Viridian Force, and then I put the power plant in there. And I can't one-hit KO this, so I have to go with the two. So this matchup, like, yeah, the numbers are just all off, and our opponent is really taking their time to just set up. One thing about this deck is I could see it being kind of tricky. First off, we do fade all these um, coach trainers, so because we have Volcania out there, so they're only drawing two cards per supporter. But despite that, there's still plenty of time for them to set up. But it's interesting that they do have the fire energies. Uh, so I think just had this matchup a couple times. I think I lost every single time, but uh, I believe they some of them tech in a Blaziken, and the fire energy does have those fire crystals, so it has some flexibility. And I suspect that's what it's the fire energy is there for, as far as attacks go for Mew Mewtwo. All right. So I will be able to take the knockout and. Grabbing some potions. Hindsight, potions won't do much. It's either I can knock them out or I can't. And at this point, if we were to ever go up against this map, I think my only chance would be to use uh, Reshizard to do one hit KOs using Custom Catcher because the Tag Purge, so it's very specific to that this Pokemon can't take damage, so you do have to swap them out. Uh, and then I could use Double Blaze. I powered up Double Blaze for the Mewtwo, and then a Flare Strike for Latios. Uh, but that, that's kind of hard to set up, and I wasn't able to do that. In fact, I don't even think I recognize that at this time. I thought maybe I could make it with make it work with Volcanion, but uh, there's one 
One huge problem is Tag Purge does exactly 120 damage, so that will take out my Volcanians no problem. And then it leaves me in a terrible spot where... Alright, well I can put out Rush Star, but I can't do any damage. So what do I have left? All I have left is another Volcanian, which I can set up. And let's see, I think I can actually even go for an attack if I get lucky. Oh no, I have, I have Fire Crystals too, so it's pretty flexible. But that would require me to retreat, so I would lose 3 energy. And at this point I think I realized, alright, well I also have the reset stamp. Um, I think they do have a small shot in case they kind of just have some awkward draws. Especially if they manage to take uh, two more knockouts. So I'm going to need to attach one more energy. Oh, right. So, okay. Here's one more strategy is I'll attack attach the choice helmet so tag purge won't can't knock me out so that's actually perfect turns that into two hit KO same thing for them and I do have the power plant for the Mew Mew Mewtwo lock so he can only use his GX attack or so I thought all right so there goes that now he can use tag purge again and at least the hearth they can actually help me. So it looks like they run a majority of fire energy and just a number of unit and psychic energy. Uh, the Dedene is awesome for this deck. It allows them to get plenty of GXs in the graveyard or in the discard. I'm not even sure what's in there. And that explains to me why I was like so confused at this point. Where all right, if they use Tag Purge, I'm okay. That should only do 80 damage. But wait, 130. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened. Um, Maybe it was the Jirachi or something, maybe it was just something else he discarded. But at this point, it doesn't matter. And so I could possibly use the double blaze, but I don't have enough ramp to get it up, to speed it up. So I will have to just kind of let this let this Pokemon go. And because if I, so right now if I could double blaze, I think I would still stand a chance. And then he would need two knockouts and I would need one. So very tough matchup, I feel like that anti-tag team deck is great for against Meshizard and uh, alright we're going to the next game uh, this one was even worse I feel like this is I'm not sure how flexible this is but against Meshizard like 0% uh, chance I feel like so it starts out looking really ugly where I do have a Volcania but nothing to ramp up I do I think I draw out of it though so kind of fortunate there but Spirit Tomb very interesting Pokemon building Spirit Spite uh, deal one damage to yourself and then it's attack since she does 10 plus 30 for every damage counter on it And then boom. All right, this is it now. I know I'm definitely out like this is gonna be a super rough game double snow run and Then another spirit tomb spirit. This is the first time I've seen spirit tomb and that's a really interesting card and it's just perfect against these um, Any thing that runs some GX's so you can just get uh, advantageous trades as far as prizes go but the snow run is really the nail in the coffin uh, we'll see if you're not sure why like I was actually really happy to have this because uh, I didn't have a recording against this matchup and I happened to find it really quickly uh, but other times I faced it just totally wrecked my deck alright so they also use some rainbow energy to actually stack on some more damage and it adds flexibility because they are running multiple types I've seen this deck run, um, I think, Fighting Energies as well for Brilu. I'm not entirely sure who that's for specifically, but uh, we did get lucky. We did get a Green's Exploration, so we were able to get that Cherish Ball. And let's see what I go for my second one. Looks like I'm going say the Heat Factor, but I go with the Welder just to play it safe. In case they replace our Stadium. Although, given all the different types, I'm not sure if they would run a Stadium. So we do have an ideal start with Flame Start, like Starter. So this is how powerful this deck is, my opponent's deck is against mine, where I have my deal start, you know, don't have to do this ultra ball switch shenanigans to set it up, but I still have zero, I still have no chance here. And so let's see how my opponent navigates this building spite. Bring myself up to 20. Alright, so some quick math. 
Uh, if he has 3, it does 100, so he'll need 4 damage. And even with a energy, that's still not enough. So I think I'm actually looking pretty good. I can knock them out next turn. But except for one thing that they did last turn, <laughs> which may have caused. Oh, oh, Hustle Belt. What does Hustle Belt do? Let me check. Alright. 30 HP or less does additional 60 damage. That is pretty useful and so yeah these numbers are just perfect and I had my deal start too and they're just gonna overpower me completely so that will take care of my Vulcanian and at this point he's kind of just cycling through his decks I don't think about acrobikes I'm not crazy about acrobikes I don't like the idea of discarding anything so I'm pretty conservative about them I feel like I try to save those for flint fodder. Absol, just to... Oh wait, no, I put that back in his deck. Yep, there's the floss glass. Uh, we'll take a... We'll see how strong that is in a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that's... I, at this point I already know I'm out of the match, but I didn't concede just to see how close I can make it. So there's that anguish cry. Alright, so for my turn, I can take this thing out no problem just with a, a 2 energy attack. Oh, I think it's Outreach. And let me just set up for the long game. So Heat Factor just for some very consistent card draw. I don't think they have used Fire Energy. And I'll set up another Reshizard. Alright, so all the fire, all the energies are out of my deck, so I don't really need that flint anymore. That's one thing that can happen that's kind of awkward. You have a lot of ways to draw out the fire energy, but then once they're there, you don't really need them. And I kind of have a dead power plant in my hand, and considering how badly we did against Mew Mewtwo, I may take that out, maybe switch it in for another great potion once I can pull one. But yeah, here's the floss class. All they need is the energy. This card is insane. Put 70 damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage. These these numbers were like specifically designed for this matchup, I feel like. So that will deal 140, but it's water. So that is a one hit KO against Reshizard. And I feel like that's what my deck is entirely built around is that 270 HP for Reshizard, just so that I can constantly heal up. Um, and stay alive and just keep pulling knockouts, but that is not a thing in this matchup one hit KO But all right, so I'm pretty sure I'm down and out, but maybe I have one more trick And that is the fact that they just knocked out my tag team, so they're going down to two prizes I can just use outrage again, and I can use my greens in case if I need to get uh Nope, nope, don't do that. And you can use Heat Factory to try to draw the stamp. I only have one stamp. And then if not, I can use greens as a backup. Use Heat Factory first. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's see. Didn't get it. Can set this guy up next turn. Although, it's kind of like a one-hit KO territory. So at this point, my only hope is that I take out the floss class, I bring him down to two cards. I wonder if I could just manipulate my bench so that I bring him down to one. Just be patient, kind of give him a, a free free KO. Actually, no, that would give him time to set up the other floss class. So that's my only hope is to choke them on two cards with reset stamp, and then make sure, trying to hope that they just whiff. And as far as what else I take, I don't think it really matters. I need to take 5 knockouts, so it's very... My only hope is to just keep taking out all their Floss classes. The Spirit Tombs I can outlast with all my healing. Alright, so... Considering how poor this matchup is, I feel like I did a pretty good job of at least giving myself a chance. Uh, in the event that they just fail to draw that energy. I do... They imagine they run uh, just water in... Uh, rainbow so it probably is not too difficult but yeah that's a pretty that's probably probably sign that this match is over trying a punishment for good measure 
And so his last card was, in fact, the water energy. They need it. I'm not sure what he's doing at this point. So yeah, very tough matchup and a very cool deck. You know, those though all the numbers just work out very nicely for this matchup. And yeah, I didn't really stand much of a chance at all. Uh, so yeah, different kind of video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.